Hello YouTube and thank you for tuning in to another Hang With Heavy video. Hey, we're going to continue on with our welding symbols today and let's just take a real quick look here at what we have going on. You probably remember that this is called the reference line, this is the leader, this is a weld symbol and to the left of the weld symbol we have the size. If you look down here you can see that we have the reference line, the leader, the weld symbol on the bottom of the reference line and in the tail here we have GMAW E70S6. Now that's going to be the welding process. So hang with have a as today we talk a little bit about beveling or welding inside of a groove. Alright YouTube, let's take a look at this particular uh, bevel that we're going to be using. This is called a bevel groove or you may hear it called a single bevel. Now. Notice that this weld symbol is on the bottom of the reference line. So that means that we're going to go bottom arrow, other top, bottom arrow. So we know that this is pointing directly towards the joint itself. And this is what this particular bevel joint would look like. Now, in the weld symbol, we have written 45 degrees. That means that this side of the plate is going to be beveled to 45 degrees before the weld takes place. Let's take a look at a couple of other groove type welds. If you take a look at this particular weld symbol, you're going to see that it's called a bevel groove or you may hear it called a double bevel. Now, here you're going to see that there is a 1 8. That is going to be the root opening or the spacing. 22 and a half. That is the angle that both sides of these are going to be cut at. So this will be cut at 22 and a half. This will be cut at 22 and a half for an included angle of 45 degrees. And also, you're going to see down here that I have illustrated that to have a 1 8 inch gap. Now, then you probably begin to see now that the bevel looks a lot like the weld symbol. So keep that in mind. There's a lot of information there. Next, let's talk about the U groove weld. Now, you're going to notice that the U groove weld looks just like a U. And we've left a little spot into the back of here. So if you wanted to have 100% penetration, you would put that onto the back of that, which means that you would then have 100% penetration, penetration on the back side of this. But this is a U-groove. If you only see half of the U-groove, like this, then it's called a J-groove. Well, YouTube, I hope that helps you a little bit with your welding symbols. If you've been following along now, you know about bevels grooves and U-grooves and things of that nature, so I hope it helps you out. You know what I want you to do? Reach over there, hit that like, share, subscribe button. And until next time, YouTube, what? I'll catch you outside.